Okay, so you want to pass algebra. Well, no, you don't want to pass algebra. You want to ace algebra. And in order to ace algebra, you better know this topic that we're going to be talking about in this video. And uh, here is the problem. Okay, so here I have a line and I have some associated information about this line. So what I'm looking for is the slope of this line. Okay. Now, if you could figure this out, put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer here in just one second, and then I'm going to fully explain how to calculate the slope in a problem like this. I can assure you, you will see this type of problem in any sort of uh, math class that involves algebra. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I have been teaching math for decades. I absolutely love teaching math, and it is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need help with mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, I'm looking for the slope of this line given this information. Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. And here is the answer, negative one fourth. Now, some of you might be saying, what's this little m here? Well, in algebra, uh, this small m is a common variable uh, or common symbol used to represent slope. Okay, so they just uh, indicate slope. And matter of fact, let's just kind of make this extra clear if you've ever uh, you know, learn how to graph a line. And hopefully, if you're taking algebra, you certainly need to understand this. This m is what we're talking about. y equals mx plus b is what we call the slope-intercept form of a line. So that's what this m is here. But in this particular situation, the correct answer is negative one-fourth. Now, if you didn't get this, well, I'm quite happy that you got this wrong because, uh, you know, it gives me a chance to teach you this so you can understand slope as this is a critical topic in algebra. Uh, in algebra, uh, usually uh, most courses spend one, two, three chapters on what we call linear equations, how to graph lines, how to find the equations of lines, which of course involves this uh, topic of slope. But uh, if you got this right, that is awesome. Let's celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus a 100% and multiple stars you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are an expert in calculating the slope they'll be super impressed they won't understand what that means but they will be impressed by that but uh, let's go ahead and get into this problem so again uh, the question is what is the slope of this line all right so here's the line we have uh, you know some information about this line but before we answer this question let's just review some basic concept of the slope okay so what is the slope of a line well here we have some sort of line this is the x y axis right so i have a line i'm just sketching a line if i'm trying to uh you know describe the steepness or the angle of this line how can i do that well some of you might be saying well just tell me the degrees right maybe this is like 50 degrees that is one way to describe the steepness or the angle of a line but in algebra it's very very common to um, uh, indicate or describe the steepness or the angle of a line by this concept of uh, slope. Okay, now slope is a fraction. And I'm going to kind of get um, into the details about slope here in a second, but I just want to kind of uh, set some ground rules right now. So slope is a fraction, and lines that uh, uh, run or actually uh, rise from left to right, okay, you're looking at it this way, uh, the xy plane from left to right, as lines go uphill, the slope will be a positive value. Okay, so I'm going to use this little m here to indicate slope. Uh, so the slope will be positive. You got to remember that. Now, lines that go this way, downhill from left to, uh, left to right, will have a negative value slope. So in our situation right here, okay, you can see that we are going to have some sort of negative slope. And of course, I showed you the answer. Okay. Now, lines that are flat, let me use a different color here. Uh, let's use this yellow. So lines that are flat, like a uh, horizontal line, a horizontal line, excuse me, have a zero slope, right? There is no angle, it's just flat. And then here, lines that are, let me use a different color here. Uh, let me see here, I don't know if you can see that. Let me just do this with a different color, we'll use white. Uh, lines that are vertical, 
What do you think the slope of a vertical line is? Well, this is a little pop quiz. As a matter of fact, if you know the answer to this question, put that into the comment section as well. This is what we call undefined, okay? So there actually is no slope, right? And there's some technical reasons, not overly complex, but anyways, if you, uh, if you remember these basic uh, rules, okay, about slope, uh, you will um, help uh, yourself avoid making mistakes, okay? Again, lines that go from uh, increase from left to right will always have a positive slope. Uh, lines that are falling from left to right will always have a negative slope. Flat lines or horizontal lines will have a zero slope and vertical lines have an undefined slope. Okay, so again, I uh, said that the slope is uh, generally described by a fraction, okay? And we're gonna talk about that here in just one second. But first, I wanna ask those of you that um, uh, you know watch my videos. First of all, if you are a subscriber, I wanna say thank you so much. If you have not yet uh, subscribed, I would like you to consider subscribing. It really does help me out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you do subscribe, make sure to hit that notification uh, button. That would be greatly appreciated. Matter of fact, that would give me a nice little happy face. All right, let's go ahead and continue on and continue our discussion about slope. All right, so the uh, slope of a line is defined by the rise over the run of the line, okay? So here is a line, and you can see here that anytime if I, if I can kind of form a triangle underneath a, a line like, like this, and this little symbol right here in this corner indicates that this is a 90 degree right triangle, okay? So it's just a perfect 90 degree corner. But this information will give me the rise over the run over the line, okay? So for every eight, now this is going through uh, zero right here. So for every eight, this uh, line right here runs out. That's what the run is, okay? It goes up, uh, it rises four, okay? So for every eight, uh, this line runs out, it rises four. So I would um, define the slope of this line as the rise, okay, which is what? Four for uh, uh, over this uh, run, which is eight, okay? Now, of course, that is one half, okay? So what does that mean? Well, it also means that for every two this goes out, this line here is rising one. So this ratio will always stay the same, but this is the definition of the slope, the rise over the run. Now you can calculate the slope. Actually, let me kind of erase this right here this information uh, in all sorts of different ways. And you have to be really good at this in algebra. So if I have two points that are on this line, let's suppose this point here is eight, uh, four, and this point here is uh, four, I'm just making something up, five, okay? Uh, these are two coordinates on this particular line. You could calculate the slope of this line. Now that's a whole separate discussion and something you absolutely need to understand in algebra. But before you even, uh, you know, try to answer a slope question, what I want you to do is to say, hmm, what's my answer going to be? Is it going to be positive or is it going to be uh, negative or zero or undefined? So you can see our line is running uphill. So uh, whatever calculations you do, you make sure, you know, you have to make sure that you're going to end up with a positive slope. Okay. So again, rise over the run. Now, another way to kind of think about the rise over the run of this uh, line right here. Let's kind of put our information back, four and eight. So we're kind of, or we're counting um, out this way, over to the right and up four, okay? So over to the right, eight and up four. I like to kind of think of it this way, to rise, okay? The rise is four and the run is eight, okay? Now that's uh, a good way to think about slope as well because when you get into graphing lines, uh, thinking about the slope in this way, uh, kind of really helps you out. So uh, let me just kind of um, uh, give you a quick uh, reminder. You probably for, you may forget, uh, you know, from this particular video. Um, if you need help with linear equation slope and everything else, I'm going to leave links to my um, algebra courses and all my courses uh, in the description of this video. So I got full instruction. Also, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel. But when you're counting the slope, you want to always go up and to the right or down and to the right, okay? So when you have a positive slope, okay, you wanna do your rise going up and your run over to the right. If you have a negative slope, you're gonna go down and then to the right, but it's always to the right, okay? And you'll see 
y here in just one second. Okay, so let's go ahead and finally, finally answer the question here. Now, uh, some of you might be saying, well, this is not on the xy plane. It doesn't make a difference because as long as I can form a right triangle, okay, uh, and of course I could actually form this right triangle right here if I had these values, doesn't make a difference. The ratio will still be the same. That's why you always want to reduce your answer. But as I just indicated, uh, when you see a line like this, what's the first clue about the answer? Well, you're saying, hmm, that guy on YouTube told me this is going to be a negative slope, and that would be correct. Okay, so we know our answer is going to be negative. And when we think about slope, you're going to be thinking about it in, in uh, one of two ways. The rise is up and to the right, or the rise is down and to the right. And when would we have this situation down and to the right? This is when we have a negative slope. So here we are actually falling. This line is falling three for every 12 it runs out. So you can almost think of this as a negative three, okay? So the slope, or M, what's the rise? Well, the rise will be negative three, okay? And what's the run? Uh, 12, okay? So here, you can see it this way, negative three and 12. If this was going up three and to the right, that would be a positive three and 12. Okay, this is a little subtle detail, and of course we can reduce this fraction to negative one-fourth. And uh, if you wrote your answer as negative 3 over 12, great job, very good. But just remember, you always want to reduce those fractions in its uh, simplest form. Okay, so hopefully this little video helped you out. Again, uh, linear equations, uh, slope, it's a huge, huge topic in algebra. And it's not too much of an, uh, of an exaggeration, my little title here. Uh, if you want to, you know, at a, at a minimum pass algebra, you got to understand slope, how to graph lines, how to find the equations of line. This is a huge, huge part of algebra, but don't despair. Uh, you know, this stuff can be learned, okay? And the way you learn it is one skill at a time. And another thing, too, it's one thing to watch me, you know, do a problem, but if you're not practicing on your own, you're not going to improve. So I'm going to encourage you to do all your homework, to study, do as many practice problems as you possibly can. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.